Alright. So we can Charisma or Strength him, but we're gonna kill him anyway. Jesus. Alright, let me get into the... The line. Who do I blast first? The mage? The samurai? The adept? Or him? Crit 40%. Ah, sweet. The magic chains. Very nice. I'm gonna... Come here. I think that flanks him, right? Does it flank him? No. Crap. But I don't need to flank, flank him. Alright, control, cost J, cost J, comes here. What is the accuracy? 94? He's still alive though. One health, really. Alright. In shot. Nice. And then Gaichu can start chopping people because that's his job. Your job is to chop. Oh, he's dead already. <laughs> you know what? Go ahead and chop the other person. Chop. This game, like, it gives you the options to talk, and then you talk to the end and you have to kill him anyway. I don't know, it's kinda... What? Wait, why did that do so much damage? <laughs> why did that do... I didn't... I didn't... Crap. I touched the, uh... The trackpad. Um... Bop. <laughs> Even Rector shot you to death. The MTR train awaits, with it the promise of safety and freedom from any more unforeseen complications. The Yao nods in appreciation, extending a hand to you. Thanks for all the help tonight. I don't know if I'd been able to get out of there without you. The world's better off with people like you in it. What will you do now? He shrugs and grins, the usual. Make a handoff, get paid, probably get a few more jobs out here. Get a lot of got a lot of debts to pay off, you know? Nothing's free in this life. You keep safe out there, okay? We all gotta stick together. If we don't, we end up with bullets in our back. What you mean like the troll? <laughs> Take care, Yao. Alright, we made a friend. For what it, for what it's worth, we made a friend. Um And we probably don't need the laser. The thing is, you gotta think about this in game terms, right? There's no way the game is gonna give you a completely overpowered weapon at this stage in the game. <laughs> whatever wep whatever the weapon is, it's probably like about the same power level as as any other weapon that you can buy. So unless unless it is overpowered and I just gave it away, <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine there's this thing in the game that just one shots all your enemies? <laughs> And like it never misses, it just one shots everything. And you have the option to give it away. <laughs> anyway, Hioi, the MTR train pulls away from the station, you become lost in the crowd. Just another phase traveling from central towards Kowloon. Every second puts blessed distance between you and the hornet's nest of knight errant soldiers you've left in your wake. With the data planted and the GPS module in your possession, it seems certain that Ares Asia will place the blame for your run at the doorsteps of the Red Dragon Association. The loss of the prototype laser is unfortunate, but allies are often more valuable than gear, especially in the shadows. Yeah, that's what I figure. With any luck, they'll be able to pay you back soon enough. Yeah, I mean, that's what I figure. Come again, eight, sweet. Oh. Hey, it's Kindy Cheng. Yes, ma'am. 
Come to the Mahjong Parlor, my darling. I have something I want to show you. Your crew is already here. Uh, I'll be there right away. Very good, very sweet, very good. I'll see you shortly. Alright, I'm gonna go there right away, apparently. Let me continue putting points in the spellcasting. Confirm. I have so much spellcasting. Not enough money, though. I need to, uh... Get more money. Alright, I wanna talk to Auntie. I'm gonna get paid, and I might leave the talking until next time, because every time I've done the talking, it's taken like several hours to talk to everybody. <laughs> it might not take that long every single time, but I'm just gonna brace myself for like two hours of conversation. Hey, auntie. Hey, look, my whole team's here. Crazy. Even the goo. <laughs> As you walk through the Mahjong parlor, you see your crew waiting for you, clearly uncomfortable to be so close to the triad boss. Then you see why. Kindly Cheng's cheeks are flushed and glowing. She's already hit the bottle pretty hard. <laughs> ah, SEKC, you're here. Excellent. Hi, Rector. Yes, SEKC, it's good to see you. They both have expressions that they'd rather be anywhere else. <laughs> expressions that say they'd rather be anywhere else. <laughs> uh, let's get to it, shall we? You said you had a lead, Auntie. I did, and I do. Kindly Chain takes out her PDA and gently places it on the table in front of her. The wiretap we placed on the police force has borne fruit. Her mouth breaks into a wolfish grin as her eyes take on a feral gleam. She appears fueled by alcohol and vengeance, a hungry beast on the hunt. Nice. My people have delivered a snippet of a recorded video call between the plastic-faced man and the chief inspector crate of the special duties unit. Whoa! This should be good. Should we take a seat? Unfortunately, it's only a snippet. There were some technical difficulties with the tap. She glances at Bao, who nods back at her. The person responsible has been sacked. We can't trust her a hundred percent it could be that she's hold withholding some of the information from us right always keep in mind that we don't trust her fully Cheng reaches out a lacquered fingernail hunts for the button she's looking for and stabs it in victory there is a loud cracking noise at the beginning of the recording followed by a squelch a squelching squeal that makes Gobbit cover her ears in pain when the video recording begins, the man's voice sounds far away, as if he's talking through a thick pane of glass. The woman is louder, closer. Say that again. There's something wrong with this line. I said my client isn't interested in hearing more excuses, Inspector. <laughs> That's what I thought you said. I'm not making excuses, mister. I have a department to run. Not for much longer. If those two Westerners aren't found, they're linked to this Raymond Black somehow, and my client wants them out of circulation immediately. The two runners are his accomplices too. The, the two runners are his accomplices too, the little orc and the dwarf of the cyber deck. Goblet looks at Isabel wide-eyed and swallows hard. Isabel winks back reassuringly. I'm aware, Inspector. Thank you. We don't know how much any of them know, and my client is adamant that the risk be mitig mitigated immediately. I've already made this the SDU's highest priority. If Josephine wants more resources on it, I'm going to need allocations from elsewhere in the department. That is a problem that can be easily dealt with. My client wants this over now. No more excuses, no more fuck-ups, no more cops floating in the river. <laughs> I'm sorry to inform you, plastic-faced man. There's gonna be a lot more cops floating in the river before this is done. Kindly Cheng smiles at that and pours herself a shot. Tell her we are redoubling our efforts. Very good. Dead or alive, you bring them to me. My client requires my personal verification that the threat has been eliminated. <laughs> Hang on, this line's getting worse. There's a, shr there's a sharp crackle and the recording ends. Kindly Chang picks up her PDA and puts it away with a smile. 
She unscrews the cap on her bottle and pours herself a shot with a flourish. That's the guy we saw in the surveillance footage. That's the one who killed Raymond Black. She leans into the PDA. That plastic face looks a lot cooler close up. <laughs> I think it's kind of pretty. Isabel. That video doesn't tell us much. I mean, we already know that there's an APB on us. And all we're sure of now is that the man with the plastic face is definitely working for someone else. This is Josephine. Is that all we have, Auntie? Your first name? It's not just the first name, Gobbit dear. It is the first name. Josephine Zhang. She is the one pulling the strings. Kindly downs her shot and slams the glass upside down on her table. <laughs> That diseased, riddled, riddled dog, dog fucker. I should have known it was her from the beginning. I mean, I'm <laughs> okay. Uh, let me let me not comment on dog fucking. She drums her fingers on the table in front of her, and she had nerve to call down the heat on my runners on Nitra. Oh, that scabrous fossil is going to pay. Ah, uh, this woman has enough power to order the Hong Kong police force to hunt us down. Mm-hmm. Cheng makes a wet hacking noise in the back of her throat and spits on the floor. It's your floor, kindly Cheng. This is your parlor. You're spitting in your own parlor. <laughs> it's like it's like you're crapping in your own bed. It's like why? Why are you crapping in your own bed? Go crap on somebody else's bed. <laughs> Don't crap your own bed. She's the CEO of Sang Mechanical Services and a member of the Hong Kong Executive Council. Her face turns to a mask of disgust. Josephine Dog Fucking Zhang. Do you, is that just an insult? Or do you have video of her fucking dogs? Just curious. <laughs> uh, CEO, huh? What do you know about her? What's Sang Mechanical Services? What do you think... The connections between... Alright, let me just go from top to bottom. CEO, huh? what do you know about her? She was Hong Kong Philanthropist of the Year in 2054 and 2055. Children's hospitals, homeless shelters, food distribution centers. Good causes, and the kind that get good PR because people are too lazy and myopic to look for the real people doing the hard work. The face-to-face -face with the poor people. Don't be so cynical, Isabel. Is Auntie Chen smiles at her sweetly. Coming face to face with the unsanitized for video poor is distasteful, dear. You know that. <laughs> her face gets stony. Beyond being a CEO and a philanthropist, I also know that Josephine Tsang is a lying, conniving bitch. Uh, sounds like you two have a history together. Whatever gave you that impression, my sweet? Her wolfish smile returns. Yes, my darling, I don't like Josephine Sang, and I'm going to fuck her up. I'm going to fuck her up bad. Am I gonna help you fuck her up? Ah... <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, this should be good. <laughs> It'll be delicious. And I may explain why someday, but not today. She picks up her bottle of swill, its turpentine fumes drift your way. But when I finally get her, you'll be there, my darling. It'll, I'll make it a party. Can you, not, can you not put dog fucking and party and me in the same paragraph? <laughs> not, not really into it. <laughs> the, are you just mixing your metaphors, kindly Chang, or do you... Do you mean what I think you mean? <laughs> Alright, what is Zhang Mechanical Service? <laughs> you, we, we are gonna have a pa You know what? Josephine's baby. It was a B-rated corporation before she married into the Zhang family. But after she fought for and won the contract to rebuild Kowloon Ward City, their fortunes rose high. They began a rise to power that eventually landed Josephine on the Executive Council. Wait, they rebuilt the Kowloon Ward City? You mean it wasn't here before? Wait. <laughs> There's a connection between Josephine Tseng and the Ward City. Yes, the same place Raymond Black hired my runners to take him. They've, I've already connected the dots. 
I don't know what it means, but it clearly means something. He, she's building something in the walled city. And, and clearly she doesn't want anyone to find out about it. What do, you, what do you think the connection is between Josephine Tsang and this plastic face man? Obviously he's working for her. I don't know yet, but I will! He called her his client. That may be some sort of lead we can follow. Cheng nods at Wu. Her glance lingers at his biceps a moment before continuing. <laughs> right now, all we know is that uh, he is her instrument. The one who killed Raymond Black. Raymond is not dead. Yes, you may have mentioned that before, Gansho. She smiles at him reprovingly. Regardless, the plastic-faced man is still our best lead for figuring out what's going on. Alright, let's tell me about the executive council again. May I, auntie? Isabel breaks in, giving Kindly Cheng a chance to calm down a bit. Hong Kong is run by a consortium of powerful corporations called the Board of Governors who set up the Executive Council, an eight-member committee of exemplary Hong Kong citizens to represent the people and run the city on their behalf. But of course you don't vote for them, that would be too unpredictable. Instead, every two years, two Executive Council slots come up for election, and the corporations on the Board of Governors put up some possible candidates and vote among themselves in a closed-door session. <laughs> uh... <laughs> cool. Closed door, I'm shocked. Of course, every single one of those candidates is on some corporation's payroll somehow. Wham bam, instant government. I mean, basically, it's just like a, a big cartel. It's, it's all it is. Right. Let's cut to the chase. Where's our, what's our next step? There's nothing we can do to touch Josephine Tsang, as much as I hate to admit it. But the plastic faced man is a different story. He is a third party operative who's been careless and he'll live to regret it. Her little black eyes turn stony for a while. If Sang thinks she can take out two of my runners and get away with it, I'm gonna have to explain things to her. She pulls out a thin black cigar and runs it beneath her nose. We're going to find the plastic-faced man and we're going to hurt him. We'll hurt him until we know everything he does. And then we'll use that to strike back at Josephine Sang. You don't have to hurt people to get information out of them. Sometimes hurting people is not the most effective way to get information out of them. I mean, I kind of understand that Kindly Cheng enjoys hurting people, but that's not always. Like, you can, like, do other things to get information and then afterwards hurt him, right? I mean, if you, if you want to hurt him, you can do that. I'm just saying that uh, you don't always get information out of people by hurting them. And sometimes, like, other ways are more effective. She lights a cigarette and takes a deep, deep breath. You will have your vengeance, and I'll have my own satisfaction. Cool. She turns away and picks up the bottle. Now get out, I have work to do. Alright. She called the entire team here just to do that. The entire team. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the boat. I'm gonna pick up my payments, and then I'll take a break. Let's see how much I got paid. Uh, I have one unread message, I'm not gonna do that. Open jobs directory, claim payment for Ares prototype run. You submit the job is finished, a few moments later a message popped up on the screen from Steel Arm Lu. Your payment is attached. I confess that I am very pleased with your work. It is not every runner who could have pulled off a job of this magnitude. Well done, Lu. You're welcome! Oh, I didn't see how much money I got. I wasn't looking. Go back. Shadowlands BBS. Post pay data for sale. Experimental Ares research. And then we have to wait until the next mission to get the money. Walk away. I have 3,000! That's enough money to upgrade one of my spells, I think. Anyway, I'm gonna save here. When we come back next time, I go shopping a little bit, and we go talk to everyone. Alright, I'll see you next time.